Put a finger down if you linked with this rapper during the pandemic from Instagram and when he shows up at your house late at night, he shows up with two other guys and you get scared that they're going to try and unalive you or run a train on you. So you tell him to get an Uber because they're taking you an hour and 20 minutes to the other side of Georgia. So you take an Uber to his house, even though you're all going to the same place. And he tells you that he's going to take you back home in the morning. He comes with eight guys. You scared that they're going to unalive you and try to run a train on you. So instead of ending the whole meetup, you still decide to take an Uber to their house? Does that make sense? Make it make sense. But then the morning comes and then he literally tells you that he's not taking you home and he gives you clothes to wear. Then you end up getting kidnapped for like a week and a half, but you actually really have fun. And then he takes you back home just to get some clothes. But then when you come back to his house, the world really shuts down. The only thing that's open is Walmart. So you guys end up stocking up on a whole bunch of food. And then you end up cooking all of his brother's food. And months go by of you just basically living at this person's house. You end up falling in love with him and you're real down bad. And then he drops you off home for the last time and then he ghosts you only for you to find out that he had a girlfriend the whole time that lived in LA and she was on lockdown. So he just needed somebody to cook for him and give him some Gucci. Accountability is a thing. You are not holding yourself accountable for making that bad decision. That was a terrible decision. From the day you decided to take an Uber to this man's house, when subconsciously you knew that you couldn't trust him. The inner voice in you was telling you that something was off. Now, I don't know if you're looking for sympathy, but I hope for the rest of your life you make better choices. I got this stuck up my ass. By the way, this is a butter turner. You didn't know. What? What the f Anyways, so I did put this up there. Not this. I am very confused. Nah. Hold on. No, no. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that. I need video evidence. And I probably don't want to see the video. Because if you did that, that means that you got the loose guts. That means that if you cough, you shitting all over the place. No, I refuse. This is cap activity. There's no way. Come with me as a black girl studying abroad to take my 50 year old mother to the club with me. So we started off strong looking beautiful as twins. And then my mama. 50 where? 50 where? Immediately just started dancing, and then she thought the section was too small. She fifty. Yeah, my mom was concerned with the <laughs> fact that people pay for a lot of space, so of course she bought drinks for all the girls. And you know me, I got my mom to VIP for free with me and all my friends, and she was having a hoot. I even bought her a rose from one of the guys who sells them outside of the club on the beach side. And she got to meet all of my friends, and then she got to buy off the music and even some sexy bread, girl. <laughs> 10 out of 10 night out with my mom and that was it baby the funniest thing is in the comment section somebody said being black is a superpower that black does not crack that black do not crack that woman do not look 50 years old shout out to all you guys that have been taking care of yourself over the years i know it's a lot of y'all on here that's 50 plus and i you know i ain't saying nothing about being 50 ain't nothing wrong with being 50 I know y'all still out there getting it in. Some of y'all might be in y'all 70s. Y'all got that blue chew popping, that honey pack popping. Y'all out there getting it in. Shout out to you. What if she looks like this and her husband actually looks 50? <laughs> the reason I'm saying that is I seen a, a video. This lady, she was vegan. She grew her own vegetables. She grew her own fruits. And she been eating like that for about 20 years. On the flip side, her husband just had a regular ass diet. So during the segment, you, you, they're talking to her and she's like 47, 48, but she looks like she's in her 20s. They switched to her husband and he look his age. Man's look like he... <laughs> mm. Fellas, take care of yourselves, man. What's your age? 27. Are you single? Yes. Why do you think that is? Um, because that ain't <laughs> So for the men watching this, what do you think they think when they hear that and see that? Um, they're like, this girl's a bitch. But no, honestly, like, we need men to level up. Come on. 
So you don't think your standards are too high? No, absolutely not. So what problems are you running into right now? Um, I can't speak on it necessarily, but my ex is dating a celebrity, so the problems I'm running into... I don't want to over-exaggerate. I don't want to over-exaggerate. But she said we need men to level up. And in the very next breath said that her ex-boyfriend is dating a celebrity. Ma'am, I think he leveled up. I think that's considered leveling up. Wow. Or that men are always looking for a babysitter. They want someone to pay their bills and do their laundry and take care of them like their mom. So, but you want a man who does that for you. You're not a strong, independent woman. Oh, I'm super strong, bad, and independent. But, like, there's a level to a man that can also step into his masculinity, be strong, and take care of his queen. What that sound like to me is you are difficult to deal with. And any man that you with who calls it quits because of the BS that you probably put him through, you don't consider him a man. He's not stepping into his masculinity. This falls under the umbrella of when certain chicks be like, you can't handle me. That's what that sounds like. You need a certain type of man to handle you. Don't nobody need to hand you, baby. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. My favorite black unit of measurement is the other day. Mm. The other day is very special. Because the other day was not yesterday. Mm -mm. It wasn't yesterday. But it wasn't three months ago. It could be the other day was within the last 65 days. You seen old buddy? I saw him the other day. When? Fourth of July. Seen him the other day. It wasn't yesterday. Yesterday is easily yesterday. Anything over 65 days? It's been a minute. <laughs> that's we saw old buddy. It's been a minute. Like Easter. Ooh, it's been a minute. <laughs> the other day, that's the winner. I like that. I was going to go with a couple dollars. But a couple of dollars is different based on who you're talking to and based on what the situation is. Like how much that shit cost? A couple of dollars. It's never two dollars. A couple of dollars is never two dollars. What's up, wife? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm up. I was um I was well, say hi. Say hi to the people. Hey people, how y'all doing? Yeah, I was um <laughs> reacting to a video. Yo, <laughs> I just saw the funniest thing. Dude was like, his favorite black units of measurement is the other day. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. He said, I was going to go with a couple dollars, but a couple dollars it is different between who you're talking to. But the other, yo. Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, oh, yo, that's funny, bro. He said the other day, and then it's been a minute. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. It just make you love being black, don't it? Like, yeah, we definitely got our own um, <laughs> our own spin on things. That's hilarious. Oh my, what did I say to Shakespeare the other day? He was like, what? Like, he didn't get it. And I was like, oh, my God. My poor child. Yeah, he, he, hey, would you listen to this? What, what did I say to him? I'm not sure. What was y'all talking about? Yeah, you know, you um, know, our son is real sheltered. I know, but like, okay, he got kicked me in the throat down pat, you know what I'm saying? So, you go into this, but you have to throw it in there. That's why I curse him out a lot, you know, because he got to know. He you know? <laughs> said, kick, kick me in the throat. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. And he know about that. He know that is, about that is like a official black threat. You keep playing with me, I'm going to kick you in the throat. Knowing good and well, a lot of us can't kick nobody. I, I, we ain't flexible enough to kick nobody in the goddamn place. Right. I would, I would need anything. Going that high, I laid there being raised that high. I never thought about that. I'd probably do a video. <laughs> what is the, 
<laughs> what is your favorite black empty threat? I'm going to kick you in the throat. <laughs> Absolutely. That's mine for sure, for sure.